The unfortunate thing about the Nigerian political space is that it levels everybody. And it's quite unfortunate. Not something to, to, to be happy about. It levels everybody. Both the educated and the educated. I mean the educated and the illiterate. I mean the, the, the smart and the dull. It levels them. You see, they begin to act and, and perform in certain ways. And you, you'll be surprised. People that have lived abroad, all their lives abroad, came to Nigeria to join the leadership system, in quotes, to offer their own support, their own, their own skill set to help in the cause of their father and motherland. You'll be surprised when they get to the political space and begin to add all, all primitive act cake. You, you, you would think that, man, it's embarrassing, Sha. It's unfortunate. All, after all these years, being in a system that is sane and, 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 and balanced, you come back to Africa and they're acting as though you've never entered a plane before. We are hearing currently that the Edo State government, led by Governor Goldin Obaseki, has denied Labour Party the use of um, some facility in the city of Benin for the rally that is coming up tomorrow. You are hearing uh, the government has not refuted any of these claims because everyone on social media, neither has Labour Party by any means uh, made any official statement about that. But of course, like what happened in Asarawa in the Lafia um, rally, the party did not say anything until after days after. Of course, in their own way, trying to ensure they don't hit up the polity and create that, that's the hallmark of a good political system. People are not wanting to create um, longer heads between the people and the government and the or the government and the government. They just they just leave it there. So it's okay. Let's not go and overdo and at the end of the day. We are trying to sanitize the environment. Let's not go become the instrument or the tool where we now have um, recalcitrant behaviors. But we are expecting the Labour Party to make both statements in the coming days. Uh, but the rally is holding tomorrow, Friday, and I want to enjoy all of us in the city of Benin. Um, proud to be an obedient, and then, of course, um, Mr. Peter Abi and his only mate, Yusuf Deity Baba Ahmed, will be coming to the city of Benin. Let's come out the mouse and let's support this. Let's forget about this drama. All these things will end after February. All these things will end. Whether Peter Abi wins or not, it will end. We believe it. Obasi is used to speaking English. Let's not even talk about what's happening. Let's, let's not make it as if it's a personal attack on his person. Let's leave it. Let's hope and pray. But the, ins the information is insisting that, or is stating that um, there will be a convergence of uh, people in the city, uh, somewhere in uh, around King Square, Ring Road in Benin City, um, for a, a road march um, to the Baptist Convention Ground. Baptist Convention Ground is beside um, is at tv road right that's the end of um tv road um linking to see local let's let, let's do this for the culture let's do this we are not expecting so much the roads are bad let's <laughs> people cannot even dare travel from from a door north and a door central to this so i hear they are planning their own um senatorial rallies and campaigns for them because they can't even dare the roads are bad it's not safe Let's not say because we want to have a better life and people lose their lives. So I'm happy the Labour Party has made provisions to ensure that people can gather in their own central district and let's have it. Let's not deceive ourselves. This country is gone. It's gone. So let's do this. I'll be there. Let's, let, let's be together. Let's, let's come have fun. Let's celebrate the, the, the hope for a new Nigeria, um, the, the birth of a new government that will take us to where we actually deserve to be. I'll be there, trust me, if you will be, let us do this for the culture. Nigerians, prepare for glory. And your people are ready. A divine intervention has come to the great Nigeria. The Peter Obi Yusuf Dati Combo is the beacon of hope for a new Nigeria. The right man to stir Nigeria to greatness is Peter Obi. The national chairman, Comrade Julius Abure, and also chairman, Comrade Kelly Ogbaloy, and the state working committee invite all obedience to come all out on Friday, 11th November, to receive the obedient one. Peter Obi, as he stumps a door with a stop over at the three senatorial districts, where he will also visit the traditional rulers. Edo people, let's obediently come out in our millions to welcome a true Nigerian, verified and certified as the next president. Venue, Baptist High School Ground, Stevie Road, Benin City. He can do it, and by God's grace, he will do it. Vote, Obi Dati. Vote, Labour Party. Labour Party, forward ever. Signed, Comrade Samson Uropa. State Publicity Secretary.
please share this video as well as you are watching share this video let it go around let everybody in the city of benin and even in those state get to know that our presidential candidate and his running mate with um, other members of the pcc would be in benin friday 11th of november 2022 let's share this video let it go around tag as many as you want to tag 